Today we're unboxing the brand new M4 iPad Pro and the new Apple Pencil Pro. Yesterday here in South Africa, it was release date for the new iPad. So I'm upgrading from my M1 iPad Pro to the new M4 iPad Pro and the new Apple Pencil Pro. So I'm really excited about this unboxing. So let's get started. So here we have the iPad Pro. As you can see, it has the lettering for Pro on the box, which I just really like the touch. I know with the Airs, they have a similar thing with their wallpaper on the box. I went with the 11 inch model this time. I previously had the 12.9 inch. I don't think personally that I need that big of a screen since I mostly use this for digital planning and things like that. I don't really do anything else much on here. I don't really watch TV shows or anything. So I think this is gonna be a nice size and just a lot more portable. I have the color in silver and the 256 gigabyte model. Here you can see some more information at the back. So here it says 256 gigabyte iPad Pro 11 inch Wi-Fi. So now let's just get into the box and see everything that's inside. I don't have any cases for this yet, so I'm just gonna have to work very carefully with it. Um, but yeah, let's just take this out. I can immediately feel it's so much thinner. This one is 5.3 millimeters in thickness and the 13 inch model is actually 5.1, so that's even thinner. So I'm guessing just because this is a smaller body, they had to make it a bit thicker than 13 inch just to fit everything in there, that's my guess. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna put this aside first and take a look at the rest of the things in the box and then we'll get back to the iPad, but that's really nice, the thinness. I think that's gonna be really cool. And obviously it's also gonna cut back on weight. So now we have this little booklet and this is the first year that we don't have any stickers when it comes to the unboxing experience, which I think is fine. I mean, who really uses those stickers? Um, but we just have like always our quick start guide for setting up the iPad. Then also in the box, which I'm actually shocked about, we have a charger brick. I thought they were gonna remove this from the iPad this year, just because they've removed it from the iPhones as well. But I am glad that we still get this included in the box. I'm not complaining at all. So USB-C charger brick and also the USB-C to USB-C cable, which is braided, which I really like. I think, is it the space black models where you get the black braided cable just to match the color, which is also really nice, but I just prefer silver when it comes to iPads. But yeah, this is also really nice. If you haven't had these in your hand yourself and you have an iPad, you're probably thinking everyone's overreacting about how thin these feel but truly just feels like a very thin slab of glass. So that is just amazing that they could do that. Yeah, I was scared that I was gonna regret going with the 11 inch size just because I've had the bigger one for like two years now, but I think this is actually gonna be really nice and really nice and portable, which is really what I was looking for. So let's just turn this on. And while this is booting up, I'm gonna start unboxing the Apple Pencil. So we just have this pull tab, I guess. I'm really glad that we got an update with the Apple Pencil. I know we got the Apple Pencil USB-C, I think like, was it last year? But having just a new model with just a bunch of new features is just really nice um, just to have some updates because I mean, the Apple Pencil second gen has been out for a while. So yeah, we just have here Apple Pencil Pro booklets. Again, just a guide to the Apple Pencil and all of that. And then we have the Apple Pencil itself. I'm really excited to be testing out all the new features, especially the squeeze, which is really new with the haptic feedback, as well as the barrel roll feature. So yeah, I'm excited to test all that out, especially to see what other apps do with the squeeze feature. I know GoodNotes has already said that they're releasing a feature to bring up the toolbar when you're using the squeeze feature. And we also now have Find My on the new Apple Pencil Pro. So here you can see it says, Apple Pencil Pro. Here you can see my previous Apple Pencil and this is the new one. I've had this one, I think since like 2019. So it's held up really well. I just have a different tip for this one, but here you can just see the difference, the same size and everything. One just says Apple Pencil Pro and the other one says Apple Pencil. So that's basically it. The biggest differences are in the internal features. Getting back to the iPad, I wanna start with the setup and everything. I'm just gonna do that using my old iPad just to do that quick transfer. But before we get to that, I just wanna cover a few things. A new feature that they brought to the new iPad, which I'm really happy about, is the fact that we now have an OLED display. So that will increase brightness a lot. I know we have like a thousand nits of brightness in SDR and I think 1600 nits of brightness on HDR. So that is really nice and also, so 
though we now have the camera here at the side, not at the top anymore, which I think makes sense. At the times that I've been using my iPad and FaceTime someone, it's usually when it's propped up on like its cover or something, and that's usually in landscape position. So this just makes sense. Otherwise you're off to the side in FaceTime call. So that just, it just makes more sense that they switched it to here. Also just to show you here at the back, we have a different layout when it comes to the cameras. They removed the ultra wide lens on the camera and now we just have our standard lens for the camera, which I think makes sense. I personally have never really used the camera besides just quickly scanning a document. Other than that, I don't use the camera on my iPad ever. Even if I have it with me, I'll just reach for my phone to take a photo. And then we just have improvements when it comes to the new True Tone Flash. So they showed this in their presentation. Even if your lighting conditions aren't ideal, like you have a bunch of shadows, that's really gonna help with just getting the best quality when it comes to your scan. So that is also really nice and I think a practical improvement. I know a lot of people don't like the look of the new camera bump just because everything is kind of just like a different size and everything, it just looks kind of random. But I mean, it's fine. I'm just gonna slap a case on it. Not really gonna look at the back, but yeah, that is the new changes when it comes to the cameras. Just to show you also, this is the thickness difference between the older models and the newer ones. And like I said, this one isn't even the thinnest. The thinnest one is the 13 inch, which I think is a massive change. So I think this is a very good thing that they did. And it's really gonna cut down on weight, especially if you're gonna add a bunch of cases and accessories or maybe like the Magic Keyboard. This is really gonna cut down on how much weight you're carrying with you. So now let's go ahead and start the setup process. There we go, set up new iPad. I'm just gonna click on continue. As for what I'm gonna do with my previous iPad, I'm just gonna sell it. This did cost a few bucks. So I think just to get my money back, this is gonna be I'm just gonna sell this one. One thing I am sad about is I've gotten so many great accessories for my previous model of iPad, so I'm just gonna miss having all of that for this one, but that's fine. We'll get some new ones for the new iPad. I don't believe that I will be updating next year if it's not like a big update. I don't think the iPad is necessarily something that I need to update every year. And since we have a new Apple Pencil and everything, I think I'm in a safe position now um, for for maybe like two years or so. So yeah, everything's just gonna transfer over to this one and then I'll show you once we're done, we're just gonna quickly cover a few of the Apple Pencil features and then I'll have some more videos coming where I go more into depth about customizing the new iPad and some new accessories like cases and things, so yeah. So I set up the iPad, now let's get into the Apple Pencil features. I just wanna test a few out. So you saw the list that came up when I connected the Apple Pencil that just shows all the new features. So I'm just gonna test these out in Notes. And oh, it's also something that's kind of new to me. I had the M1, meaning that I didn't have the hover feature that was introduced with M2 iPads. So now I have that, which I just found really cool. So that is something that's new to me, but let's test out all the other things. So first I want to touch out the squeeze feature just to bring up a toolbar. So tap and then it brings that up. That's really cool. I love the haptic feedback. It just makes it feel much more interactive. So I really like that we have that option. And also what's new is also that you have a shadow when you're selecting a tool, which is also really nice. I'll put a clip where you can see it more clearly, but just cast a shadow and you can move it so that a cat shadow is also moves, which is really nice. And I just like that we can just quickly bring up a toolbar with just one little click of your pen. Also barrel roll is a new feature. So I'm just gonna use this pen here. So now because they created a new gyroscope, we can now see the direction of the shape with different shaped brushes, which I think is really nice, especially if people are into hand lettering, things like that. This is gonna be really nice since you can choose the angle that you want the brush to be in to just be more precise with your strokes, which I think is a really nice touch. I think artists are gonna love this feature. I'm excited to test all this out in Procreate as well and see how this is integrated into Procreate. And also good notes with the new toolbar and everything with just a squeeze. I think that's also gonna be really nice. And then obviously we still have the double tap to switch between the tool and the eraser. And 
it also gives like a little haptic feedback when you do that as well, which I think is really nice. I just want to quickly go into the settings of the Apple Pencil. So here you can see you have a bunch of new settings. So first off, we have your actions and then squeeze. So you can customize what this does. You can select show color palette, switch between current tool and eraser. And they have just a list of things. I th I've seen people play around with the shortcut option. So you can choose any of your shortcuts to be activated with just the click of the Apple Pencil. And you can also adjust the sensitivity of the squeeze so if you find yourself maybe clicking it accidentally a lot you can maybe just adjust the sensitivity also like we've always had you can just customize the double tap feature and then you can just turn off or on some of these effects so you can turn off or on hover tool preview the shadow which I previously showed you and then also haptics those are all just available to turn off or on here in settings as well also here in find my you can now when you go to items here I'm gonna click on this plus button and here you'll see the different options and you now have the option to select add Apple Pencil. So now that can also be a findable device. So attach Apple Pencil, I'm just gonna do that. And then it gives that list of things that it says is new. Click on continue. I can try the squeeze function. Scribble is nothing new, we've already done this. And then add to find my add pencil. So now my Apple Pencil is also in my list of findable devices, which I think is really helpful, especially if you often lose it. So yeah, that's everything that I wanna cover on the new iPad Pro. I'm just gonna play around with this a bit more and customize it to my liking. So that was my unboxing on the new M4 iPad Pro and the new Apple Pencil Pro. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what videos you'd like to see on the new iPad models. I will definitely be doing like a customization and all of that, but if there are any other videos you'd like to see, definitely leave those suggestions in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye.